Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given logarithmic equation and at the very end we are going to check our answer for any extraneous solution. So let's go ahead and get started with this problem. So the very first step is we want to make this equation simple by just looking at, I want you to look at this part the radical part and the radical part over here. We want to convert this radical into the exponential once. So this could be written as then log of x if this is a cube root isn't it? So if you convert it into the exponent this become 1 over 3 and here we have a square root that means index is 2 so I can write log of x power 1 over 2. And by the way here this is the fact we used the cube root of x is always equal to x power 1 over 3. So the next step, step we want to do is we, do you see an exponent right up here? We want to deal with this exponent so we will be using this fact. This says that if you have a log of x and you have an exponent m, then you can move this exponent to the front. So same thing I'm going to do. I'm going to put bring this uh, exponent, which is one third, to the front. I'm going to bring it over here. So this problem is going to look like 1 over 3 outside log of x equal to log of x power 1 over 2. Now the next step is it is substitution. So how are we going to do the substitution? We want to make this equation much more simpler by looking at this thing. Log of x on this side and log of x on this side. I want to substitute this thing. I'm going to say let u equals to log of x. I'm just going to replace over here these log of x by u. So this turns out to be 1 over 3 times u equals to this is u power 1 over 2 as you can see over here. So this is what you see this red u I just made a substitution right up here. Now the next thing what we want to do is we want to get rid of this this 1 over 2 the fraction exponent so I'm gonna this is what I'm gonna do right now I am going to square both sides isn't it this 1 over 2 and Two, they cancel each other out so this is simply is going to become a 1 over 3 square becomes simply 1 over 9 so this is going to be simply u square over 9 and on this side see right now so if you have a u of 1 over 2 1 exponent and you have another exponent and we use this fact I will use this fact if you have x power m and you have another exponent n then you just simply multiply them out. So I'm going to do this thing if you multiply them out 1 over 2 times 2 becomes u power simply 1 which is same as u isn't it? Now the next thing is I want to make sure uh, we have a fraction on the left hand side we want to make a fraction over here by just putting one underneath and now I want you to remove the fraction by just simply cross multiplication crisscross so this is what happens if you cross multiply this thing one time u square is u square equal to the other way around it's gonna be 9u so far so good I want you to move this 9u on the left hand side so u square minus 9u when you move it to the other side becomes a negative 9u. Now there's something is common so we can factor u outside so this become 
u minus 9 equal to 0 and let's go ahead and split them up so one of the solution is going to be u equal to 0 the other one u minus 9 equal to 0 so over here u equals to 9 so we got two solutions u equal to 0 and u equals to 9 now we want to revert back to our x variables so do you recall what was the substitution we did u was equal to log of x isn't it so i'm going to go ahead and replace log of x u was log of x equal to 0 and likewise on this side i'm going to say log of x equal to 9 so now we're going to go ahead and convert this one over here we have these one log of x equal to 0 can you over here by the way if there's a no base it's a it's a common log by default the base is 10 over here and base is 10 so this is in a logarithmic form we want to convert into exponential one so we're going to be using this fact if you want to convert from logarithmic form to an exponential one over here so this log equation could be written as x equal to 10 power 0 that means x turns out to be a 10 power 0 is simply 1 so x equal to 1 is one of our solutions on this side if you convert this thing x turns out to be 10 power 9 it's a huge number that is another solution and now we're going to check our answers for any extraneous solution let's check out x equals to 1 and see what happens so wherever you see x replace it by 1 and here I replaced x by 1 and we can see that one now let me ask you what is the cube root of 1 cube root of 1 is simply 1 so I put down log of simply 1 on the left hand side and I put down the square root of log of 1 over here as well and we know that log of 1 is 0 by using this fact I showed you. So this is 0 and this part is 0 as well. So we can write 0 on the left hand side equal to square root of 0. So 0 turns out to be 0. Is this statement true? Yes. That means and since this statement is true that means x equals to 1 is indeed our solution and finally we're going to check our another solution that was 10 power 9 and now we're going to plug it in wherever you see x you replace it 10 power 9 and here i replaced x by 10 power 9 as you can see over here on the left hand side I can write this thing log of this cube root means that 10 power 9 cube root could be written as power 1 over 3 and on this side over here we have an exponent 9 over here and by using this fact on the left hand side if you have a log of x and then you have an exponent m you can move it to the front same thing I'm gonna do over here I'm gonna move this 9 to the front this could be written as the radical of 9 is gonna become in the front log of 10 isn't it and now over here one more thing over here we have two exponents one exponent and then we have another exponent and using this fact when we have a two exponent they get multiplied out here we're going to multiply 
9 times 1 over 3. Now in this step I have multiplied them out. So 9 times 1 third becomes simply 3. So I can put log of 10 power 3 equals to, I'm going to leave this thing as it is at this point, log of 10. So far so good. And now once again we're going to be using the very same fact. If you have an exponent you bring this exponent to the front. So this simply becomes 3 log of 10 equal to square root of 9 log of 10. Over here one thing I just want to remind you that there's no base over here and these are called common logs. By default their base is 10. And finally according to this fact when you have an argument and the base they are same they are equal to 1. So that means this comes out to be 1 and this comes out to be 1 as well. So now we are pretty much simplified. So this simply becomes 3 times 1 is 3 on the left hand side and we got 9 times 1 square root of 9. So 3 equals to 3 turns out to be 3. So now my question is, is this statement true? Yes, this statement is true. So thus x equal to 9, 10 power 9 is our solution. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.